Inspector LD, welcome to it. Christopher Schaub as well. This game was a disappointment. I'm sorry you feel that way. Thanks for watching, though. Glad to have you along for the ride. I can't honestly say that I've ever been disappointed by this game. But, I didn't buy into all the hype before the game came out either. So, eh, that's probably why. Christopher Schaub says he likes it, but the developer lay big time and got big trouble. You mean lie big time? Well, uh, I mean, what big trouble did they get in? I don't know of any trouble. I remember they got investigated for false advertising claims, and that was determined that they didn't falsely advertise the game. That doesn't seem like too much trouble. They made a lot of money. That doesn't seem like too much trouble. They're still all employed in producing content for the game. That doesn't seem like too much trouble. So I don't know. Big trouble. Yes. Christopher Schaub agrees. They didn't get in big trouble. Cool. They lost a lot of money in the game when the developer said that there was online play and there was not. He lied. There is online play about the game when it came out, but the team got close to go out of business when he... Oh, I can't wait to read the rest of that. Christopher, have you been carrying this chip on your shoulder for almost a year? Really? <laughs> Christopher. Christopher. He lied about E3 one time too, did he? He lied about E3. What did he say about E3 that was a lie? <laughs> no, don't answer that. But the developer said that they would make up stuff and put it in, but I don't like when the bad service with developer, then later they put it in. Says Christopher. Is that about, do I have the tone about right on that, Christopher? Christopher, who are you trying to convince? Like, what is your... <laughs> what is your mission, sir? <laughs> Sorry, man, it's just kind of falling on deaf ears right now. I like this game. I like this game. All the hype, man. All the hype. If you bought into it before the game came out, that's your fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, what? <laughs> that's the long and short of it. It's your own fault for getting your expectations too high. Don't do that in the future. Take everything you read in the media with a grain of salt, especially when it's a nervous-ass indie developer on a late-night talk show for the first time, probably, spouting off about his game a year before it gets released in the most critical stage of its development when they're going to have to make cuts in features to get it to the release date that PlayStation put upon them after PlayStation picked up the game. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Let it go. Oh, what's so funny is the way that you're still mad about it this many months later. That's what's funny, Christopher. It's funny that you're still mad. Man, it's been the same five complaints since this game came out. The same five. Nobody has said anything new in nine months as far as the complaints go. Don't be a shaft ass or you will get hacked. <laughs> Bye, Christopher. You're funny. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> mm, don't be a shaft ass or you will get hacked. Regis says, not to mention they got flooded in the middle of development and they were getting uh, sued by the cable company. Still managed to put out a product. Yep. Exactly, Regis. Exactly. They had, they had plenty of problems during the development of this game. Not left, but that last portion of the conversation was hilarious. Glad you liked it, Regis. <laughs> plus, if nobody spent at least 60 hours plus on this game, it was well worth 60 bucks. And at the price it is now, yeah, yes. Eventually, this game will be one of the best games on PlayStation, and we're going to have all the features they talked about, but unfortunately, the development team was rushed and bad things happened. I'm just, I'm agreeing with you, Regis. I'm agreeing. Oh, my goodness. Well, that was fun. Thanks for joining, y'all. I'm going to wrap up the stream there for tonight. Appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate you being here. Be sure to hit that like button on the way out if you haven't already, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already so you can catch more in the future. I like to stream No Man's Sky. I stream regularly Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So if you want to catch me on the regular streams, feel free. And I stream randomly throughout the week other than that. Um, and I think that'll be it. With that, I bid you farewell. Please remember, don't be a shaft ass or you will get hack. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.